couple of little tips that I've seen. If Malcolm is grabbing my neck, I don't want my head to look down like this. If I'm looking down to the ground, he's going to be able to snap me down, he's going to be able to troll me, he can get me back, he can throw me, he can knee me in the face, and she becomes life, becomes really miserable. So remember, your body follows your head. It's just a common rule for anything. If my head's looking down, he can snap me down. So when he goes to tie out with me, I want my head to rest on him just because he pulled me in. I don't, not that I can't resist, but if he's tight with it, look, I'm resting on his shoulder. I'm using my eyeballs to see his knees. It also makes it harder for him to whip me around because my head's up, okay? I'm blocking the knees, blocking the knees. My head's up, look, it's a lot easier to whip me around. It allows me to strike, it allows me to strike and it allows me to work on my movement and defend, okay? So, that's why his mouth is in. <laughs> so, from the defense, my head's here. If I go here, I'm going with my head. So it it's puts me in trouble, okay? Couple little uh, blocks for the knees. One, you're gonna block, your hands are out like this. So as he's here, my head's up, I'm blocking out here. Don't pull him in close to me, because he might go in front of my knee, or in front of my hands and hit my face. I don't want to pull him too far out, but I'm kind of in a neutral position. I'm blocking here. Okay, see, I'm blocking his thighs, blocking his thighs, blocking his thighs. My head's up still, I'm blocking. That's the first block. Second block I can do, my hands can go straight to his hips. So if he goes knee, I'm controlling his hips so he can't put his knees into me. Okay? That's a nice block. Just post on the hips. So his hips can't come forward to those knees. All right. One of my favorite blocks. Hand goes here. This hand comes here. My elbow goes right past my wrist. This elbow's up, kind of blocking my side of my head. As the guy knees, my elbow is going to pierce his thigh. So I'm moving my elbow to where he's kneeing and going to use it. So when you're kneeing and your partner does this for drilling purposes, knee very light. You throw one or two knees like that, you're going to stop kneeing. Promise you that. Okay. So if nothing's here. I cover here, and look my elbow, boom, there's one, boom, I just move my elbow where that knee's coming from, and then I can block it, and that's all he needs is one of those, he's going to stop knee me pretty quick, okay, I can switch, okay, but it, this knee just penetrates that thigh, it's a big muscle knot, it's like, you know, just shoulders, very powerful, okay, the other way you can defend um, the guy high clench, he comes in here, now before he knees, as he goes to pull me in, I walk, I do like the limbo. So my hips go in and my body goes like this. I go to a body wrap. I go to a body wrap there. So as soon as this guy grabs my neck, I don't stay like this. One of the people's first instincts is to try to defend already. Malcolm grabs my head and I go, oh no, he's in. He didn't do anything yet. All he did is grab my head. So my first instinct is to automatically start defending. He didn't do nothing yet. So what am I defending? Something that didn't happen yet. So as soon as he grabs me, come on. I'm already going here. Now I can use this the body wrap and break down, break down the base. I feel my head come in, my head goes up, my hips come in, and I'm looking for the body wrap. That's one, one way to bend the, the knees and they close that gap. If my hips are against his hips, he can't knee me because he's already losing his base and his balance. Does that make sense? So just for basic, I'm gonna show you guys how to get out of this next. But right now, there's your basic block, your basic block, okay, hip blocks. All right, so they're your basic blocks or walk in and hip in. You know, most of us are guys in here, so you know, be aware of it. Don't knee and walk into the knee because it might hurt. But if you do it right, tell your partner, I'm just going to work on getting in as soon as you tie my neck up. And he can grab your neck, you walk in, hip in, and body wrap. What happens is his arms get caught, his arms get caught inside of us. So he hips in and starts body wrapping me, my arms get stuck like this, and they're kind of pinned between us. I get a good body wrap. You can lose that, you're kind of pressing your elbows against your chest. He's pulling me in, so I'm getting that uh, feeling. He breaks my base. Okay, it's a really good way. I did use it on Muay Thai guys before. Um, I was demonstrating it with one of the guys I was friends with that does Muay Thai. I went to Thailand a few times and trained with those guys, and it works. I showed him, he's like, I've never seen it before. It's pretty cool. And he didn't think it would work, and I, I, I showed him through us going back and forth and trying it, and it works. It just have to time it. You can't. You can't just do it without timing stuff. Sometimes, sometimes things need especially time to work properly. Does that make sense? All right, guys, so we're going to work on... Um, I hate to ask this, but I don't want to say it on camera. Is Muay Thai from Thailand? 
Yes. Yeah. Wow. Point the camera at him. No, 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 no. No, we is. Okay. So, that will be our bloopers category. Um, but, so the reality is, we're going to work on just, gonna, our, just no. work on our defense. Now, if the guy's knee into the side, you can block the side, or you can move according to him. Just watch, watch being over top, because he can do a high knee, like up through here. He can do a thrusting knee. He can do his curved knees. So there's a bunch of different knees you watch out for. You can't just be like this. Well, your body also and you can really split your head wide open. You can't be way out here and he goes into your body and nails it. You gotta be in that neutral position to where you can move a little bit and adapt to his knees. All right? All right, one pointer up. Uh, person's gonna throw some light knees, work on your smear defense while they're controlling your neck. All right, you guys ready? And.